Hello guys, welcome to the course of Admin Panel Development in Cake PHP. This is our first part. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to take a admin panel demonstration so that inside this whole course, we are going to develop similar dashboard. Back to browser. Now this is all about our login panel of academics management. Inside this admin panel, we have modules called colleges, departments, means branches, students, staff, as well as a report section. So this is a login panel where we are using the auth component of CakePHP. So let's say that if I type the invalid details of email address as well as for the password, pressing sign in button and here we have error called invalid login details. Now I am pressing the sign in button with the correct details and this is all about our admin panel. This is dashboard where we have, we have few cards like total colleges, total students, total staff and also if I click on these links it is redirect on the report module. So right now there is no colleges, there is no branches, students as well as staff. So if I back to dashboard, let's go inside this college and I'm going to add our first college. So without filling this form, if I press submit button, now as we can see that we have our validations. These are the validations known as client side validations which we have implemented inside each form of this admin panel. So let's say that sample college 1, sort name something sample college 1, let's say hyphen test. Description, if you go to a Chrome extension which contains a dummy content, so copy that, pasting it here. Now next we have to choose a profile image, it means cover image of this college. So I'm going to select this image, let's select this image, selecting that. Total faculty we have let's say 200 inside this college, let's say sample location, contact number we have some dummy number, email address is something a uh, dummy number, sorry dummy email address and the current status of this college is active. So pressing submit button. Now as we can see that our first college has been created these are the details now in case if we want to update any informations of this college simply we need to click on this edit button and while going through this edit form we can update any information also if you want to delete so click on delete button it is asking for a confirmation that is are you sure want to delete we have two options that is cancel and ok so if we press cancel nothing happens but when we click on ok button then it is going to delete that respective college from this college's list back to dashboard now as we can see that here we have our first college means total number of college we have created equal to one so click on more at reports this is the report where we can export the college details either in excel format csv format as well as PDF format. So let's create some departments or list of branches for this college. So go here, click on add branch. Let's say branch 1. This is the college we have created and session start date. So let's say that I'm going to select a date. This is the date of session start as well as we have to log the session and date. So if I select this August month and 17th of the date, so this will be the start date of this department and this is let's say end date of this department. So instead of this branch, let's say that we are to take a technical degree. So let's say total number of durations we have 4 years, total seats available let's say 280. Description again I am going here copy the content, pasting it here and the status of this department is currently active, pressing submit button. Now as we can see that our first department has been created. Same as the colleges we have edit button as well as delete button. We can perform our CRUD operation. 
Now let's say that inside this college, means inside this college, inside this department, now we are able to create some students as well as some faculties. So go here, adding student. Let's say that. student1 student1gmail.com dummy phone number let's say sample address choosing a profile photo blood could be something be positive date of birth some dummy value He is male and the current status active of that user is active. We have two options called active or inactive. So pressing submit button. Now the first student we have created. Now here we can see that we have a lot college option. It means that inside this academics management we can add several colleges as well as several departments. So we need to allot a specific college or a department for this student. So click on this allot college. Here we have to choose the college name. So before that we can see that inside this branch drop down there is no branch. But when we select any college the respective branches will be automatically populated. So click on submit button. So successfully as we can see that we have now assigned a college to this student now we have two buttons called change or remove so let's say that in some cases if you want to change the branch or department of any college then we can click on change and allot a new assignment as well as if we want to remove this college allotment for this user simply click on this remove button and remove that Again, we have for the CRUD operations of edit button as well as delete button. Now, if I go inside this manage staff, let's create some faculties. So, let's say staff1, staff1 at gmail.com. Some dummy phone number. Let's say sample location. Choosing a profile photo. Designation, let's say I'm filling physics. Gender is male and here we have staff type that is this faculty is responsible for a instructor like a librarian, lab instructor. So let's say that we have to select let's say workshop instructor. Status is active. Click on submit button. So successfully we have created our first faculty. So same we need to assign a college to him. So selecting these details. Click on submit button. Now here are the details. Now if we want to edit any information, we need to go inside this form and we can edit any personal information of that staff. Now here we have a report module. Inside this college report or let's say student report, we have all the means information what we have given. By the help of these export buttons, we can export all the records what we have inside these colleges, inside these students, as well as staff. So inside this whole course, we are going to make something like admin panel. Also we have several options to increase or enhance the functionality of this academics management system. Such that we can add something library system inside this fee management, let's say services management like bus fee. Also we can add something subject management of each department. But this is our initial phase of project development so after going through whole development of this course, I think that you are able to do such type of en enhancement of your own. So inside this course we are going to make this all types of this similar admin panel what we have currently observed. This is a well structured CRUD operations of CakePHP. After going through each session we will find that how easy a admin template or admin panel can be developed by using the latest version of CakePHP. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.